Right, big changes coming to Metro, including later hours, construction projects, and even a proposal to ban certain riders accused of crimes. Fox 5's Evan Lambert is breaking it all down, and he joins us live from Woodley Park tonight. Evan? Let's tell you about a possible inconvenience first. A tunnel ventilation project starting this weekend, and it means work here at the Woodley Park and Cleveland Park stations. That also means disruptions to the red line until August 29th and closures of the Woodley and Cleveland Park stations on two weekends in August. Metro says the project will enhance tunnel safety in the event of smoke or fire. Now on to better news. Metro will extend its late night hours now until midnight beginning on Sunday. Service job workers have been complaining about high ride share costs and public transit closing early. We spoke to one restaurant general manager who wishes it could go even later. At Brookland's finest restaurant and bar, they've had to close early to get workers home. Honestly, midnight isn't good enough. Um, last call, Sunday through Thursday, is 2 a.m., and on Friday and Saturday, it's 3 a.m. And finally, Metro is considering a full board vote on a proposal to ban certain riders accused of some crimes. Anyone arrested on property for sex or gun-related crimes on Metro property could be subject to a temporary ban of up to a year. The ACLU is against this, but we asked some riders what they thought of it tonight. There's a horrible idea because if somebody don't got no transportation, no way. It's the easiest and most convenient transportation. You're going to ban people? That's crazy. I don't love the idea of people being, like, doing indecent exposure and stuff on metros. It's not great, but I still just don't really think that's a super enforceable rule on the metro. And the full Metro board will vote on that proposal at an upcoming meeting. Metro says that other cities' rail systems have similar bans in place. Back to you.